You know, not everybody is in the fortunate position to be able to pass along financial wealth or material assets to their children or grandchildren. Sometimes the gift of our words, our values, our life lessons in the form of an ethical will is just as enduring, if not more enduring, a piece of leaving your legacy. So I am really privileged and excited to be able to teach a course on how to create an ethical will in four weeks because I would love for everybody to be able to leave the gift of their words to loved ones regardless of what their financial dynamic is. You know, on a personal note, I lost my husband at a young age to brain cancer. Our twins were just two and a half years old at the time. Our children, Rebecca and Casey, girl boy twins, were too young to really understand what was happening and they were they're too young to even remember him. I wish more than anything that Brett had done an ethical will, that we knew to do an ethical will because then our children would have some semblance of who he is and what mattered most to him. So it's never too early, it's never too late to do an ethical will. You can do an ethical will that will complement your legal will. Perhaps you'll leave your ethical will to your family uh, before you pass on. Perhaps it'll be something that you want preserved and presented at the time of your death. Whatever you choose, I hope you'll come and to, and to make meaning and to reflect on what matters most to you so that you will be in the position of, of passing on your values and experiences to your loved ones.